Happy August, happy Leo New Moon, and happy Lionsgate Celestial Ones. This is UA Light with your Celestial Insight for the first half of August, where we are in the Leo New Moon and Lionsgate energy. And this Celestial Gateway began with Celestial Alignments during our New Moon last month, where I mentioned we had an alignment between the Earth Sun, our Solar Sun, Sirius, the Moon, and Venus. And it marking the opening of this sort of spiritual celestial gateway that would then lead us into Lion's Gate. And so it's helpful to understand what Lion's Gate is in order to understand the significance of the astrology for the rest of the month of August and to be able to work with this astrology in a productive way. Even if you've heard of it, it's possible to have been given a partial understanding of what Lion's Gate is. And so let's discuss Lion's Gate refers to the annual cosmic alignment between Sirius, our spiritual galactic sun, and the Earth when the Earth sun has returned to its home sign of Leo at between 15 to 17 degrees. And in modern times, this alignment always happens on the 8th of August, which is also our 8th month of the year. And so mystics and astrologers recognize the sort of layered, synchronistic, esoteric, mystical, and quantum significance of the 8-8 numerology and the astronomy and astrology. Okay, and the significance is that our star Sirius or our spiritual sun is essentially beaming its spiritual light directly onto the earth while the sun is also doing so, right, um, in its home sign of Leo. And this essentially offers a potent energy portal associated with access to God power, right, and divine power power and divine love, right? Things like manifestation and spiritual healing and transformation. And this really maps on to the numerological and the quantum energetic meaning and the messianic theological meanings of the number eight, which is about universal laws of karma, dharma, and abundance. And essentially that path to infinity and everlasting life through achieving Christ consciousness, oneness with the divine, and an ability to harness the divine's spiritual energy to create shifts in the etheric and earthly realms. And so the number eight is about the esoteric history and reality of spiritual masters and divine avatars being incarnated on earth as much as it's also about the qualities and the spiritual power and the dharmic life path of spiritual masters and divine avatars and becoming one even right and some of these people often have life path numbers of eight, right? And the qualities and the kind of life path is what different numerology sources hint at when they are talking about qualities of the number eight. They are often referencing the sort of qualities and sort of circumstances and experiences that um, spiritual masters and divine avatars often have, right? So that is the sort of numerology aspect. But the layered meanings are also represented by the esoteric astrological meaning of the 16 to 70 degree points of Leo, where, for example, 
the degree is represented by the symbol of sunshine breaking through the cloud after a storm. And it's a subtle occult reference to this quantum and spiritual light energy of the AA portal. And then the symbolic imagery and the fixed stars for this degree also reference light beings descending or ascending through the gates of heaven or the etheric realms. Okay, and so there are all these sort of layered um, esoteric and occult <laughs> uh, meanings, right? And what's important to note is that there are always significant astrology aspects that happen during the weeks of the Lionsgate period as well. And it's a part of the divine illuminating some truth in your life or orchestrating some serious transformation, right? And in terms of uh, worldly events, it's also common to even see how people are tapping into this energy and, and power for destruction, <laughs> okay? So um, for this year... Lionsgate is happening in an eight year as well. And so it's an 888 portal. And there are significant astrology aspects this month, which also coincide with the spiritual and worldly significance of this 888 portal, right? Related to the number eight, life path eight, um, and highlighting themes like higher levels of consciousness and awareness and practical themes like responsibility, problem solving, and growing your wealth and independence. And so no matter where you fall on the spectrum of being immersed in consciousness and occult studies or mysticism and spiritual practices, or not at all, the month offers a unique chance to reflect and just see how the divine has been involved in your past and present experiences. And, you know, particularly because we have a number of retrograde planets, right? And so reflection, introspection is really important and beneficial in spiritual, emotional, mental, and psychological ways, but also practical ways in your affairs. And it offers a unique chance to connect with the divine and with healing, especially because Chiron is one of our retrograde planets. And the Lionsgate portal also offers a chance to just reignite powerful courage to achieve victory, prosperity, and to create incredible shifts in your world. And so how can you work with Lionsgate 2024 energy? First thing is, one, if you experience a lot of uh, 1111 or 111 angel number synchronicities, then that is absolutely a sign that the divine is trying to work with you, right? And that the divine is trying to essentially help bring some new beginnings in your life to really close a past karmic cycle and to help you get in alignment with your dharma and to make some significant quantum leap in your life. So that's number one. Number two is that it's a really powerful time to just affirm that you are love, that you radiate abundance, and that clarity and abundance are yours now and in the future. One of the other really, 
really powerful things about Lionsgate is that it's also a powerful time to receive heart healing from your pets. So heart healing in the form of hugs from your pets, especially our feline friends, cats, are so synchronistic and powerful and protective and a part of the divine's sort of, I don't know, like gang of deities, to be quite honest. (laughs) And so it's also a time where you could see progress in the healing journey of any of your pets, right? Maybe if you have any pets who've been traumatized, any pets who struggle with trust or any behavior issues, If you pay attention, you might see a change in them around this time. And in terms of uh, practical and spiritual ritual, it's also a powerful time to find healing and to increase your confidence through intentional nutrition, through detox, through decluttering and organization. Especially since during this Lion's Gate and all month of August, we have Venus in Virgo. All right. So additionally, gratitude, meditation, sunbathing, especially if you are in a part of the world where you're able to get some sun. Um, Also intention setting. All of those things are powerful at this time. But also, because we have so many planets retrograde, including Saturn, including Chiron, which is the wounded healer, and also Mercury being retrograde in Virgo, it's also a time where reviewing your journal entries or your to-do lists from over the entire last year, or even since... Uh, 2020, these things could actually be really, really, really powerful in terms of being able to see your accomplishments and your triumphs over the last year and to make that a part of your sort of gratitude practice and even deepening your connection with the divine, right? Being able to see and have gratitude for all of the progress that you've made um, and having the divine's grace, right? I've found personally that going back and looking at the significant life events and circumstances that you've had happen around um, Lionsgate every year since 2020 to be something that could be super, super insightful for you. Like it could be really, really insightful, especially because um, the remainder of August, one of our significant astrology aspects is the Jupiter and Saturn square, which is also tied to problem solving, being able to see progress or even make progress on something significant um, that is relevant to maybe having started in the year of 2020. Okay, and so um, in terms of the August astrology, these first two weeks of August where we've had this Leo new moon, we're in Lionsgate, the astrology could be bringing a sort of mixed bag of like surprising, painful, and also helpful news related to money, relationship, and social group matters, and more. While Lionsgate in this new moon is also facilitating some personal joy and practical reflection in order to see rays of hope, healing, and receive higher understanding. And our Leo New Moon astrology references this specifically, right? And is about this theme of reflection and assimilation of the wisdom from our experiences and having retrospection lead to some perfection of your future plans and 
being able to take wise and competent action toward your ambitions. And this is important and essentially the main purpose of the astrology of August, where Lionsgate, our retrogrades, and some transformative T-squares prompt big review, change, and creative resolutions and plans for the future. And all of this also being the sort of prelude to our last two eclipses of 2024 in the sign of Pisces and Libra and just all of the change and transformation that will be taking place for the remainder of the year. And so part two of our August astrology will be a deep dive into this astrology that really offers big opportunity for you to review, renew, and break through some sort of cycle or hardship in your life. So subscribe to both the YouTube channel and the podcast wherever you listen and show support via the gratitude jar linked below and on YouTube with a super thanks, a like, and a comment on how this Lionsgate and Leo New Moon has been for you. What sort of epiphanies or, or deep healing or reflection, awareness are you coming into? If you're listening into the pod, tap the stars to leave us a positive review there as well. So I wish you so much healing and joy during this Leo New Moon and Lionsgate portal. Take good care of your hearts.